Hey everyone, Riley here. I've got a special treat for you today. We are going to be playing Majora's Mask in Dolphin. Because if you've been following my channel or just developments in the community in general, you will know that there is a new credit swap route for VC that relies on a strange hardware behavior of the Wii, and it turns out the GameCube as well, um, that wasn't actually being emulated in Dolphin. And now, as of pull request 9964, it is. And I'm just trying to show that off without using sheets, which is actually very difficult because I'm bad at the video game. And I'm not used to playing with this controller. And this controller doesn't have notches, and so I have to use virtual notches. And I have my virtual notches turned to maximum just because I really don't want to mess up my angles. That makes some other stuff harder, because it means I can only walk in eight directions. <laughs> so, yeah. It's an adventure. Okay. There we go. Get three shit speeds forward. One, two, three. Three left. One, two, three. Three rolls. One should turn left. Four rolls. One, two, three, four. Three slashes. One, two, three. On target, one slash. One ESS left, which is the hardest part. That was definitely two. Oh, that was way more than I needed to see. That was like three. That's back where I started. That was two. I needed to. Okay, there we go. That that's the angle. So we got so then right slash, shield slash, and then I just need to adjust my facing angle here. Using the C up visual cue. Okay. And then we're going to play Sauna double time. To lock in our coordinates, which I really hope are correct. That setup felt good to me. So, yeah, hopefully they're right. And then I need to farm for some bombs. I technically only need one drop, but I'm going to get two just in case I fail the super slide more than once. <sighs> and I'm going to take the Deku entrance just because, whoops. <laughs> I'm not very good at, um... Oh, did that ruin it? Did falling in the grotto there break it? Hmm... I actually don't know. That's a good question. Because grottos do weird things to your respawn coordinates, but... We will see... I'll need to be more careful in the future to not go in that grotto in case it's a problem. Okay, let's do a human up here. Let's get inverted cam. Okay. 
That is why I got extra bombs in case I failed that a couple times. Oops. I need up here so hard. <laughs> One more. Okay, that should be good. Ah. Usually not this bad at the super slide. I think this is because this is like my 110 zillion to try to get the position and angle set up right. <laughs> Come on! Got three bombs left, I can do it. Of course not. There we go. With one bomb to spare. Okay, so now is the fun part. Um, I have to get this angle, which is a little weird to get because I have to basically target this really narrow wall, invisible wall. Over here. Okay, and then I have to do two ESS to the right. I hope that was two. It looked like two. And I have to. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Messed it up anyway. And I have to do this backwards because otherwise I'll target the cucko, which is not good. TSS right. It's one. That was three. <laughs> and that was me completely messing that up. I'm so excited to get back to the controllers I know how to use. <laughs> Okay. I don't even know if I trust that, but we'll see. Pretty sure that's it. Let's see. Yes! Oh my god, I got it. Okay. Oh, that was so scuffed. I've been trying to do this since like seven hours ago, and I finally got it once without any cheats. <laughs> nice. Okay, so just to fill you in, um, Previously on Dolphin, you could get this far, but after the dawn of the new day screen, it actually reloads this scene with a new offset, and that would cause you to go to the lullaby cutscene instead of the cutscene where Link is um, waking up in Terminal Field. Also, I am so sorry about the frames. I don't know why, but it gets really, really laggy there. Um with the giants but yeah anyway so there's here's dawn the new day and if this was how dolphin used to be we would go to lullaby cutscene right now but we actually go to link awakening in turn of field which is exactly what we want 
Because if we go to Lullaby cutscene, once that's over, it's over. It doesn't play the rest of the credits, because the credits got interrupted, basically. Um, but now that we have... Um, you know, now that we're in this part, the rest of the credits are just going to play through all the way to the end. So I'm just going to mash the buttons for a little while and just show that it actually does go through the end. Be warned, this game has like 10 minutes long credits, so it's going to be it's going to be a little slow. But while they're going on, maybe once I'm done mashing, it's easier for me to think. Um, I can talk a little bit about what is actually going on here and how the Dolphin devs fix this. So, um, if you go look back on my YouTube channel a little earlier, you'll see the video where I show off this new route and why I explain why it doesn't work in Dolphin. Um, so my hypothesis then, at that time, was that um, the Basically, the CPU, when it was doing an unaligned store, the way it did that was by just bit shifting the word to be written by like one to three bytes, and then it would just write that word instead. Um, so it turns out that part was actually correct. <laughs> but there was some stuff in the middle that I didn't really understand, and this is where the Dolphin Devs uh, came in huge. Um, it actually took, I think, a half dozen of them. It was like six or seven of them, um, including some of the old Wii hackers from way back yonder um, to actually figure out what was going on. And it turns out that basically there's sort of... So there's the CPU and there's memory, and the CPU is trying to write to memory, but there's actually three things in between the CPU and memory. So the CPU and memory are connected via the bus... The 60X bus is what it's called, or 60X, I think is probably a better way to say it, because it is the bus used by PowerPC processors, starting with the 601, 603, 604, um, and so on. This The Weep CPU is actually a 750CL, a modified version. Um, but anyway, so that that's the um, 60X bus, and it's connected to memory and the CPU. But those devices are not directly on the bus. Um, they're connected via interfaces to the bus. So the CPU, the processor, is connected to the bus via the processor interface. And the processor interface will receive this request to write, you know, this bit-shifted word. In fact, it's actually a bit-shifted double word because... Um, all bus transactions with the memory happen in a minimum of 64-bit chunks. Um, so it actually has to do with double words. So it'll, it'll just basically write the same bit-shifted word twice, sort of. It just duplicates it. But anyway, so the processor interface will see this request for um, essentially a double word write, but, they, but that this processor is trying to do it unaligned, and it's going to raise an exception because it's like, hey, you can't do that. Like, I know I know you think you can do that, but uh, my pal, the memory interface over there, which is what's in between the memory and the bus, my pal, the memory interface, can't handle that. Um, it turns out that the memory interface only handles masking entire words. Um, so, okay, I can stop mashing. Um, so, it'll, it, like, in that two-word chunk that has to be transmitted, it can mask either the top word or the bottom word, but it can't mask individual bytes. Um, so basically the CPU is asking the memory interface to mask individual bytes, and it just has no way to do that. So the processor interface is like the middleman, and it's like, hey, you can't do that, but I'm... So I'm going to warn you that you can't do that, but I'm going to do my best to do what you asked me to do anyway. And so the way it does that is it passes on the request to write that shifted word um, to the memory interface. And it also passes on that the memory interface should open both of its masks. Because, well, you know, you're having to write to both, right? Like you, you have to write some bytes on one side of that, of that word and then 
Um, or sorry, you have to. Some of the bytes are in one word, and some of the bytes are in the other word, and so you have to you have to write both. Um, so it just throws open both mass bits, so there's no masking, um, and it'll just write the entire thing. So it just writes. It, it does what essentially the double word write um, that we've been talking about in the Majora's Mask community. Um, and then the claw word write is actually a lot less interesting because, again, since it's 64-bit transactions, um, like, if you're straddling a double word boundary, you have to do that same process two times because, you know, it, it has to be 64-bit aligned. That's just sort of how those bus transactions work. Um, so that will give you the quad word write behavior because it basically just does the double word write twice. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. Um, there were a lot of wild theories about what was going on at first, but it turned out to just be a problem with the like the C library they were using to test. But yeah, they tested using an actual just assembly language um, script, and everything worked as they thought, as I thought it would um, on the Wii. And they also tested it on a GameCube, and it works the same way on the GameCube because. A Wii is basically just a GameCube with a few extra parts tacked on it, is what the developers are telling me. Um, it, it has like um, it has the ARM processor and then the Bluetooth chip and all that stuff that the GameCube didn't have. But the CPU is basically just a faster Gecko, and the GPU is basically just a faster Flipper, and so it's and the bus is pretty much the same and. So it works on the GameCube too, which is something that the Majora's Mask community thought it did for quite a while, um, but couldn't really test very easily because we don't have practice tools for the GameCube version of this game. Um, but yeah, it's nice to have that confirmed, and yeah, it should work on both GameCube and Wii in Dolphin now. Um, granted, as of time of recording, this pull request has not been merged yet, so you'd have to like actually like build the pull request or or i guess you could go to the bug report and download the pre-built from the bug report um but anyway um eventually this should be merged and it should be available for all to use um and this video i'm hoping is going to be in the progress report um i'm just trying to come up with things to say while i'm waiting for the credits to finish <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm so happy to have been a part of this. Um, Zelda 64 is just, it's just a really broken game. And it's, a lot of times it's even more broken on the virtual console version. <laughs> and so, it, I don't know, it, it, it's really good to be able to sort of discover, in a way, this weird hardware behavior of the GameCube and Wii that was not really documented before, um, not really understood. And just sort of bring that to the limelight and then have the actually smart people who are the dolphin devs figure out what's actually going on. Um, and yeah, so this this is actually the second that I'm aware of. The second time that a N64 virtual console game has been responsible for discovering a weird hardware feature of the Wii um, that has to get integrated into Dolphin later. <laughs> so the first was Super Mario 64, and basically with that, it was that float conversions always round down to zero as opposed to rounding to the nearest. Um, and so that was what caused the floating platform and I think Bowser in the Lava Sea or something like that, I forget what that level's called, um, to basically rise on the Virtual Console version, like slowly, slowly rise up but not on any other version. Um, and then in this case, it is that double word write and quad word write behavior, which affects any uncached, unaligned store. Um, it's nothing weird with the VC emulator. It's, it's literally just, that is how uncached, unaligned stores work on GameCube and Wii hardware. And it's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. The credits are just about over and I'm looking forward to that progress report. See you next time. Bye.